Hey guys, what's going on? It's Sean of Third Rail of Fi, and I hope you're having a beautiful day. And in the news, it's basically, uh, shit. Here we go again. A second Donald Trump assassination attempt has been uh, attempted. It's been carried out. It has been thwarted. Thank God for that. We're not exactly sure if the shooter got a shot off. Uh, as, as it is right now, they don't think that he did. Thank our stars and garters for that. It appears it was just the Secret Service. And this is basically it in a nutshell. Um, the Secret Service opened fire and the, the guy was like, ah, they're shooting at me. Don't want to do, a, do, do a, a, a Thomas Crooks. And then got up and uh, fled to his vehicle and drove really, really fast, really, really far. And then the police caught him and arrested him. That's that. But that's not exactly all that there is to the story, because, again, like any assassination attempt, there's a lot of questions, a lot of weird questions. But I guess we'll we'll get to those in a second. Um, also, the the media, because you you don't hate the mainstream media enough, the corporate media, the the establishment media. We we hate them 100 percent, but it's not enough. They've already done a few things. The standard things that you'd think they would do, they've blamed Donald Trump for the assassination attempt on his own life because they're, they're assholes like that. They have uh, played it down. They've sort of made fun of him. And then they've even begun to say, oh, well, nothing to see here. It's time to move on. So what, what's going on else in the news? Let's get this new news cycle started, shall we? And because the last assassination attempt moved Trump way high in the polls, this one will do the same. So they are trying to get it um, over with. Where the gen, I, I think the belief is it's going to be that they're going to have 48 hours to burn right through the story. And one of the, amaz the amazing things about it is in the first couple hours, we actually know significantly more, by far and away, a whole hell of a ton, a metric fuck ton more about this shooter than Thomas Crooks. We still don't know anything about Thomas Crooks. He's, he's a mystery. But this guy was an unhinged Ukraine lunatic. He was an American from North Carolina, and he was just, he, he, he had basically like terminal Ukraine syndrome. It was just so pro-Ukraine, so pro-Palestine, anti-Semitic. I love Bernie Sanders, kind of, kind of progressive leftist. The kind of crazy that would dye his hair half yellow, half blue to support Ukraine. The kind of crazy that said to Sean Penn, the movie actor, who was also weirdly obsessed about Ukraine, how begging Sean Penn to go in with him and buy Polish fighter jets for, for Ukraine. That They'll just do it. They'll just go in and buy fighter jets together. I don't think it works like that. But also, I mean, this, this, this guy was begging Vivek and Nikki Haley to join up and not give in so they could defeat Donald Trump together. He, he was so anti Donald Trump. He spent eight months in Ukraine. Originally, he went there to fight, but they're like, you, you one, you're old as shit. Two, you don't have any fighting experience. Three, you're probably a little bit crazy. We, uh, we don't need you right now. So he went there and uh, he, he tried to recruit people. He was like this weird, crazy cheerleader. This guy was, he was, he was a wackadoo. Completely, completely, absolutely unhinged. <clears throat> so anyways, the, the stories. We'll get in some of the stories here. Uh, Trump golf course shooter named as Ryan Wesley Routh, a suspect, um, was arrested for an assassination attempt in Florida. Ryan Wesley Routh, the man named as the suspect, in a 
possible assassination attempt near Donald Trump's Florida golf club was calm and emotionless when he was arrested on Sunday. He is a registered Democrat, an avid Bernie Sanders supporter. He's 58 and he's in custody after the terrifying incident at Trump International Club almost exactly two months after a separate assassination attempt against Trump during a rally in Butler, Pennsylvania. The suspect was found unarmed as a backpack, GoPro camera, and an AK-47 style rifle. It's actually an SKS he had with a scope. I don't know much about firearms, so if you know what the hell an SKS is and why it's good or why it's bad, or comment below. Tell me about it. I'm still learning about firearms. Anyways, he had an SKS um, that a gunman left behind when fleeing the scene uh, had already been located. Martin County Sheriff William D. Snyder said Roth was not displaying a lot of emotions when police arrested him. Snyder added that the suspect a shooter was relatively calm and never asked why he was being detained because I think he knew the jig was up. So this is this is a photo of him. Um, what, what looks to be in Ukraine, and he was just an un, an unhinged weirdo. So Routh, a registered Democrat, was, and this is kind of very bizarre, and we don't really know much more to the story than this snippet here. But in uh, 2002, he was convicted of possessing a weapon of mass destruction. Now that's very vague and kind of nebulous. It could be a whole range of things. Maybe he had a nuke. Or maybe he had just a um, an, an illegal firearm that could have killed a lot of people. Like, I mean, it's a vague, nebulous thing. We don't really know more than that. And that's per the online uh, North Carolina Department of Adult Correction Records. But again, they could not provide details about that case. But a news and record story from 2002 says a man with the same name was arrested after a three-hour standoff with police. According to his oft-updated X-Feed, Roth went from voting for Trump in 2016 to supporting Tulsi Gabbard in 2020 to demanding Nikki Haley and Vivek Ramaswamy form a unity team in 2024. It's very weird. These people, because so I I guess he was a Trump. Like I'm trying to do the brain math because he was a Bernie supporter. So it, I think he voted for Trump as a protest to what Hillary did to Bernie. That's the only thing that makes sense to me. Only thing that makes sense. He was a Trump vote. A lot of Bernie supporters were really mad. That he got tossed out the way, uh, so unceremoniously, the way that, that he did. And, and then voted Trump, kind of as a fuck you to Hillary Clinton. I'm assuming that's what it is. I could be wrong. But he is a registered Democrat. FEC filings show him donating to everyone from Gabbard to Andrew Yang to Elizabeth Warren to Tom Steyer in the 2020 Democrat primary. During the George Floyd protests, he was preaching anti-police rhetoric, but also used Black Lives Matter and All Lives Matter as a hashtag. He wrote a tweet to Trump in June 2020 saying, while you were my choice in 2016, I and the world hoped that President Trump would be different and better than the candidate. But we were all greatly disappointed, and it seems you're getting worse and devolving. Are you retarded? I will be glad when you are gone. Yikes. That's, I guess, a foreshadowing, sort of. His son, Oren Routh, that his father is not a violent person and did not even believe him to own a gun. He told Daily Mail that his father hates Trump. As every reasonable person does. I don't know. I'm I'm pretty reasonable. I, I think Trump is wonderful. Trump is the best president of my lifetime. So the son goes on to say, I don't like Trump either. 
the son added, but he said his dad is not a violent person and couldn't believe his father would target the president. Well, this nonviolent person went to Ukraine to fight in a war. There's a violence in war. There's shooting in war. There's killing in war. In war, you might need to be prepared to stab a man in the eye. You know what I mean? He's my dad, and, and all he's had is a couple of traffic tickets, as far as I know. The son said, that's crazy. I know my dad, and I love my dad, and that's nothing like him. Well, they usually say that exact kind of thing. The former president was rushed to safety on Sunday after multiple shots were fired in his vicinity while he was playing golf at his club in West Palm Beach. Routh said his father moved to Hawaii a few years back and was living with his longtime girlfriend. He said he didn't know his father was even in Florida. He said he was at the beach, but I thought that meant the Outer Banks in Hawaii. He said, I didn't ask him for more information because we've had a falling out. We've grown apart. He wouldn't explain the nature of the falling out, but still spoke highly of his father. He's not a violent person, he said. He's a hard worker and a great dad. So great of a dad, they've had a falling out. Just saying. Um, he's a great dude, a nice guy, and he's worked his whole fucking life. Such a great dude, such a nice guy that they've had a falling out. Just a saying. Um, asked whether his father owned a gun, he replied, not that I know of. I've never known him to own a gun or known him to do anything batshit like this, the son added. So it kind of feels like he's gotten crazier and crazier and crazier and farther and farther left. And so Donald Trump is very obviously a pro-Putin puppet. Every Like all the left says it. Oh, Donald Trump. Trump and uh, Vladimir Putin, they're best friends, they're snuggle buddies, they high-five and hold each other's dicks. So, I mean, since this, this fellow, this Roth fella, he's uh, so, so crazy for Ukraine, absolutely obsessed. I mean, is it crazy really to think that someone obsessed with Ukraine would go after a pro-Putin puppet? I don't think so at all. Officials said U.S. Secret Service agents spotted a rifle barrel sticking out of the bushes two holes ahead of where Trump was golfing on Sunday, prompting the agents to open fire at the suspect. The individual ran to his vehicle from the trees, but was spotted by a witness who snapped a picture of his vehicle, a black Nissan, which included the license plate. Palm Beach Sheriff Rick Bradshaw told reporters at a press conference hours after the incident that the witness was able to share the plate and later identify the suspect as the person he saw fleeing the scene. The suspect was able to get within four to 500 yards of Donald Trump. Now, that's a much, a much farther distance than Thomas Crooks was, at like 130 yards. It's a much more difficult shot. And this guy wasn't practiced like Thomas Crooks was. So the um, probability of him succeeding Seating was lower, but the fact still being within 400 yards with a gun is crazy. And when and when asked, hey, why wasn't there a really big perimeter around? The answer was, oh, yeah, that's because Donald Trump's not the president. So Donald Trump is only allowed to have a small perimeter. No, seriously, that's 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 the answer. That's what they said. They said Donald Trump's not the president. That's why the whole golf course wasn't secure. That's why there wasn't a big perimeter. He's only allowed he, a, a small perimeter. He's not a president. He's a former president. Sure, he's a candidate, but candidates are the same as former presidents. Like, what, what are you saying? I mean, unless you're RFK, then you just fuck you. But that's, that's why it wasn't, it wasn't uh, entirely secure. But also, this was a spur of the moment golf trip. And this is one of the big questions, ladies and gentlemen. It was a spur of the moment golf trip. Nobody knew that he was going there. It wasn't reported. He didn't tweet it. He didn't do any of these things. It was nobody knew he was going to be there. So how did this guy know he was going to be there? That's the big question. That's the thing that that we're that we're wondering. Because this this, this guy was a little uh this guy was much more prepared. So the FBI shares 
Pictures of the rifle, the backpack, and the GoPro that the assassin had hidden in the bushes while lying in wait for Trump on his Florida golf course. New images reveal the backpack, the GoPro camera, and AK-47 style rifle. Again, we've learned it's an SKS that a gunman left behind when fleeing the scene where he was targeting Donald Trump. Law enforcement held the press conference in West Palm Beach on Sunday. And then, so it's basically this right here. This image. All right. So we have a backpack, right? We have, this is armor. Some sort of ceramic homemade armor. And that's a, that should be enough to alarm you. And what I think is his GoPro that he had up here. So he was going to take out his target and he was going to record it. Comics Crooks was just interested in taking out the target. This guy, I think he like, I don't know, maybe learned, had inspiration. From Thomas Crooks, he learned a thing or two. So he's lying in wait and he's making a sniper's nest. That's what he's doing, right? He's not necessarily trying to blend in, but but he is he is behind the fence of the golf course. He is in the forest, in the bushes. He 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 find he finds a spot where there's a line of sight, but he he hangs plate armor. Homemade plate armor. So when he gets shot at because Thomas Crooks got shot at and killed, this is enough to stop the bullets so he can then run away. So he knew he normally when you go after a president, it's a suicide mission. You go there, you know, you're going to die. If everything goes to plan, the, the person you're going after, they died too. But you, you don't ever expect to leave. This guy expected to leave or at the very least. He, he wanted the, the extra time to get off more shots. But as soon as the Secret Service started uh, shooting at his plate armor that stopped the bullets, he dropped everything and he ran because I think he wanted to leave. It, it's crazy. He was making a little comfy sniper's nest. What, what he was doing tactically, it makes sense. And so now they're getting more sophisticated. The people trying to kill Trump are getting more sophisticated and that's that's crazy that's scary but i mean obviously and i've said it in, in one of the older videos of, of about thomas crooks is they've tried it once what are they going to do again they're likely going to try it again and they're going to keep on trying until they succeed they're just going to keep going because if you mess up the first time it's not like oh well we tried one time we're not going to do it again of course they're going to do it again and the people are going to get more sophisticated, more determined. And then eventually they're going to be like, listen, uh, we keep messing up with guns. We're going to let's try a bomb. Let's try something else that, you know, can't be foiled. So there could be a device next time. And that's terrifying. But anyway, so so he has his he has his SKS. He has his bag that's got some plate in it. He's got his 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 plate there. So so he he has his armor and then he's got his GoPro. On, on the fence. This is a, a legit setup. And that's that's crazy. Like this is serious stuff. So he had posted this document. On his Facebook. Which um, the moment he was named uh, Facebook Zuckerberg. They uh, went and immediately nuked his account. On May 4th 2024. Would be Trump assassin Ryan Routh posted this on his Facebook page, which appears to be from the Ukrainian Ministry of Defense. I asked ChatGPT to translate it, and uh, and this comes from Rahim Kassam. So it's this. From the Ukrainian Ministry of Defense. I don't know. Notarized, stamped. It looks pretty official. Um... Chat GPT says Ministry of Defense of Ukraine, Mil military unit A7788, blah, 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 day, uh, May 1st, 2024, Fort Dork Village, Zodomir uh, District, blah, 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 blah. Two, the head of Ivano Frankivist Regional Territorial Center for Recruitment and Social Support, written consent. 
the command of military unit a uh, a seven seven eight eight has reviewed the candidacy of redacted born in redacted for military service um, under the contract position of shooter storm battalion of military unit a seven seven eight eight boc 100 military rank according to the staff soldier salary redacted i request assistance in processing the document of redacted and directing them for further military so I think even though he wasn't a soldier, I think he got in. I think he just recently got in, or at least that's that's what it seems like, because he wanted to go. He spent eight months in there waiting for his turn to go. CNN had, um, I guess, claimed he was fighting, doing actual fighting in Ukraine, and he was just cheerleading and recruiting in Ukraine. Although that document we just looked at, it, uh, it, it suggests that he was just finally accepted into the fighting. And that's because Ukraine is losing soldiers. They're at the point where they're like, what's that? You're a woman and you're eight months pregnant? Yes, you're accepted. Right? So they're in a lot of trouble. So it sounds like they're, they're willing to take him now. So CNN falsely claims the Trump shooter had been fighting in Ukraine. We've just been in touch with the frontline humer humanitarian aid volunteer audio custom 82 who met the Trump shooter Ryan Wesley Routh in Kiev in uh, June 2022 and exchanged phone numbers with him, but had to block him after a while. He describes Ryan as a man who was intensely focus on his task, but that it was difficult to communicate with him as he wouldn't take in information that was given to him and would then continue to obsessively call after having been told not to. He says that Ryan could be constantly seen walking around the, the Maidan Square in Kiev and, and would talk to anyone he heard speaking in English. This individual also goes on to say that Ryan became known among other international volunteers, as the, as the American flag bandana guy, as he kept walking around dressed that way. He says that rumors went around the volunteers that Ryan was deported because uh, deported by Ukraine after having annoyed the authorities by continuing to try and send Afghan and Pakistan soldiers to Ukraine, despite having been told that the Ukrainians weren't interested in his plans. This individual goes on to say that it's unlikely that Ryan ever left Kiev for any other locations in Ukraine and that he definitely never fought in Ukraine. CNN portrayed Ryan moments ago as someone who had been fighting in Ukraine and that is not the case. He was a cheerleader. In Ukraine. Uh, my initial goal was to come and fight. I think, you know, everybody around the globe should be motivated to come here and support the Ukrainians and support the army, no matter what gender, age, anything. Everybody should be here supporting the army. But I'm 56, so initially they're like, well, I have no military experience. So they're like, you're not an ideal candidate. So they said, not right this minute. So plan B was to come here to Kyiv and promote getting more people here. You know, we need thousands and thousands and thousands of people here fighting with the Ukrainians. We need, we need, you know, we've got 190 countries around the world and we need thousands from, from all of them. If we, if we... So he wanted to go there to fight. They said, not right yet. And so he was just, he was a, a cheerleader. So he was also running to be the mayor of Honolulu. His policies included declaring ro war on roosters, fireworks, termites, and Russia, which is, um, I don't know, that's, that's special, I guess. The Aussie Kazakh says, uh, not surprisingly, Trump's assassin was a pro ukrainian extremist. Terrible optics for Zelensky. Ukraine is definitely getting no more weapons and money after Trump returns to the White House in November. And so, as I was saying, it's not unreasonable that a pro-Ukrainian pro extremist would want to take out the pro-Russia pro Putin puppet that is Donald Trump. I mean, that's, that's obviously what he felt. But, yeah, that's... 
that's basically that the the details are uh i don't know sketchy this this guy was i don't know he was into he was into a lot of things he was very very chatty always looking for revolutionaries just super super obsessed with ukraine i just i don't know something about these ukraine people but also anti israel pro palestine anti-Semitic is on top of that, because you can be anti-Israel without being anti-Semitic, but he was both of those things. And Bernie's supporter, he was super far left. I don't know. I'm just, I'm, I'm kind of, I'm kind of just, I'm surprised, but I'm not surprised. So, so, so the questions, the questions that remain, if you're, if you're with me here so far is, um, how did he know? How did he know to be there? Nobody knew Trump was going to the golf course. How did he know to to be there? And um, you know, a lot of people say he glows. A lot of people says that he is a hundred percent a Fed. They're just getting more, the more and more desperate. The, um, the the Feds, the people who want Trump eliminated, um, are getting more and more desperate, and so they're they're using all of these glowies to do it. I think he glows. I think he, of course, he glows. He was trying to human traffic Afghans into Ukraine to fight for them. So yeah. Um, definitely a glowy. I just, uh, I don't know who's handling him and how, how he knew to be on the, on the fifth hole when Trump was coming up to the fifth hole. Very, very weird. Um, the fact that he, the fact that he would build a sniper nest, which if he's got no fighting experience and all that. So, I mean, apparently you can, you can learn how to build body armor or, 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 or uh, plates on YouTube, I guess. How to set up a sniper nest? How how to build the uh the the plates and the reason why to do it and yada yada yada. It seems like there was actually there was some sophistication to it, and I don't know. It's a little scary. There's those are the questions that kind of still have to be be answered. I don't know if we're gonna, but he, again, he is still alive. He is in custody, and so I guess all eyes are on how long it takes for him to be Epstein, huh? Because who who was it? Was it was it Lee Harvey Oswald? Who I don't think actually shot JFK. He was taken in alive, but then you know when he was in custody, he got Epstein as well. He got Epstein before it was cool, and uh, yeah. So I just assume this is going to happen to him as well. I mean, it only makes sense. But anyways, thank you for watching this video. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Peace.